I must tell you a testimony that has blessed me so much. One man went to listen to an evangelist. He was sitting there one night, two nights, three nights. A man was a big sinner. But when he heard the gospel, something happened inside of him. After the third meeting, he spoke. He, he, he went to the evangelist and he said, Sir, I know it is late. Could I ask you to come to my house? I would like to speak to you. The evangelist didn't know that man. But the Holy Spirit told him to go with him. He said, okay, I'm coming. They walked down a dark street. Then they stood in front of a big building. The stranger got a key out of his pocket. He opened the door. He switched on the light. He said, please come in, man of God. When the man of God was inside, he locked the door. That stranger disappeared behind a big green curtain at the back of the room. And when he came out again, he had he had a gun in his hand, a gun. And he said, preacher, don't be worried because nothing will happen to you. But I want you to answer some questions. I have three questions. But before I come to question number three, the three questions, I want to have an answer to a general question. He said, Preacher, is it true that there is power in the blood of Jesus to wash away the sins of all people? Yes, said the preacher. That is very, very true. Because the holy word of God says it. There is power in the blood of Jesus to wash away the sins of all people. The stranger said very well. Question number one. Preacher, look at my gun. He said, this gun has killed three people. He said, one, I killed myself. Two were killed by a friend. He said, preacher. Preacher. I am a murderer. I have spilled human blood. Is it still true what you say? Is it still true? The preacher said, Yes! Even if you have spilled human blood, the blood of Jesus Christ the Son of God washes you from murder. Hallelujah! The man said, okay, question number two. The stranger said, I'll let you with me. I'm selling drugs and I'm selling liquor. Many times there's a knock on my back door. 
and there are some mothers kneeling in the mud they lift up their babies to me and with tears running out of their eyes they say please don't sell any more drugs and liquor to our husbands there is no food for our children our marriage is destroyed the families are destroyed please don't sell any more the stranger said preacher i kick them into the face I closed the door and I sold more than before. He said, Preacher, is it still true? Yes, said the preacher. It is still true. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, washes us from every sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, question number three. He said, I'm not just dealing with drugs. But I'm an alcoholic myself. Many times he said, when I am drunk, and I arrive home, I attack my wife. He said, we have a little girl. Let me call her Mary. Eight years old. He said, last week, when I was drunk, I attacked my wife. Little Mary came to help her mother. I was so enraged. I grabbed my daughter. I flung her across the room. She fell into an open fire. She burned her right arm. The man said, Preacher, I haven't been a father. I've been a beast. Is it still true? The preacher jumped up. He shook that man by his shoulders. He said, man, if your sin is as black as the night, it doesn't matter. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, washes you from every sin. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey! The stranger said, Thank you, preacher, you may now go. The preacher left. That man sat down. Then he jumped up. He went to that green curtain and he pulled it down. There were all there was was all the whiskey. All the liquor. All the drugs. And he took the bottles. And smashed. And smashed. And smashed. One hour. Two hours, three hours, four hours, he burned the drugs. Hey! And when the sun rose, he had finished. He was soaked in alcohol. He was very tired, but he was very happy. 
And then he walked across the street. That is where his dwelling house was. When he entered his house, his wife was already making breakfast in the kitchen and little Mary was with her. When they heard father come, they both began to shake. They said, oh, hey, now he is going to attack us again. He must be drunk. But he walked up the stairs to the lounge and sat down in an easy chair. The mother said to little Mary, Mary, go up and tell daddy breakfast is ready. Mary, Mary was afraid. But slowly she walked up. She said, Daddy, breakfast is ready. He looked up, he said, Mary, my darling, tell Mama I don't want breakfast. Maria, Mary quickly turned around, ran down into the kitchen and said, Mommy, 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 something has happened. Maria, you go biri. Hosara so kala na. Mommy, 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 go go shale. The mother said, what, what? Did he hit you? No. He called me darling. Oh, boy, me ne, oh, mommy, oh, mommy. The mother said, no, your father, since you were born, never once called you Omamu, Omami Owa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The mother said, go up again and tell daddy breakfast is ready. You must misunderstood, have misunderstood him. Little Mary was confused. Slowly she walked up. When he saw his daughter come, he grabbed her, pulled her on his right lap. The wife followed. When he saw her, he grabbed her, he pulled her on his left lap, he buried his head between the two, he started to cry, forgive me, please forgive me, I haven't been a husband, I've been a devil. I haven't been a father, I've been a beast. But this night, the blood of Jesus Christ has washed me from all my sins. Hallelujah! And instead of killing people and robbing people, you are going to be a servant of the Most High God. Shout Amen.
Lady, is this your baby? Yes. I am baby. What was wrong with your baby? My baby has a near over nine months and right from the time I give birth to him. We have taken him to so many hospitals. They say that they cannot operate it because it's small. When he gets big, they will operate it. And ever since that is now, he cannot sleep in the night. Even when I carry it like this, I cannot carry it like this. But now since yesterday, he sleep where well. I can back him, I can carry it anywhere I like it now. Honey has gone. Isn't that something? Is that wonderful? Is that a wonderful one? Look at this beautiful little baby. Then a small baby went fine. Where, where? What is his name? What is Merit. Huh? Merit. Say that Merit. 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 Hey, I like him. He's beautiful. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bless the mother. She came with faith. I bless little Merit in the name of Jesus. Let him grow up to become a man of God. And Lord, I pray that Hania shall never, ever trouble him all the days of his life. In the name of Jesus. Go in peace in Jesus' name. Did you bring these two boys? Yes, sir. What was wrong with them? Both of them are twins. So this one and not the neighbor. So we stay around there. So when this crusade was coming, so I decided that I'm not going to raise this crusade. And this is my neighbor here. I like him very much. We play together. And his eye, he cannot see with one eye. And his right hand, he cannot raise the hand. And so yesterday, when he was praying that everybody should be healed and he's sick, I commanded that this boy can raise the hand up. Raise the hand up. Raise the hand up. He never could do that before? No, he can't do the hand like this, but now he can Raise it up. Come on. Raise both hands up. You have to raise your two hands. Hallelujah. Lord, I bless this boy. I thank you that you will also heal his eye and that he will be totally restored and that he will live a normal life. I bless all these three boys. God bless you, God bless you, big boys. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What what was wrong with your mother? She is possessed for many years today. For how many years? For so about uh, 25 years. About that, I should say. Is it true that you could not handle her? We have taken her to a psychiatry hospital and many churches and men of God have prayed over her. And we've been sleeping in the church. We came yesterday from Bori. And what happened? Today, the ear, when she said, the ear we cannot touch. And that is where the main problem comes from, from her ear. You touch her ear, she will box you, she will struggle, you cannot hold her, she will be begging. Yesterday we came here, she was struggling, but today, through her eyes was open. And when I thought the ear, when it was mentioned that we should touch the area, where the problem was coming from, the year was my hand was steady there, and she never touched my hand, and God has healed her. And this is the year I'm touching, no problem, and she's steady today. After 25 years, isn't that something fantastic? For 25 years. Let's shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I bless this mother in the name of Jesus, and I pray, Lord, that the joy of the Lord shall fill her soul and it shall be her strength and I bless you in Jesus' name. Go in peace in Jesus' name. And, sir, what was wrong with you? Uh, for the past six months, there is no difference between day and night for him because there was no sleep at all. And yesterday, the evangelist offered prayer against sleeplessness. And when I got home yesterday, I slept like log. Praise the Lord. Oh, well, is that an answer to prayer? Is that a miracle? Hey, you must be happy. And tonight you will sleep like a log again. What was wrong with you? Bless is telling me about 20 years ago. I was blessed. I paid for these children. And I was with her. I told me I had cancer. I asked me how many years, um, how many years the cancer I have with my body. I said, don't use 20 years. How many sheep I get? I said, I have two sheep I get. How many years is there? I said, the senior one is 10 years. The junior one is about seven years. I said, the cancer will be sheep my body and my body. What is God done do for you now? God does not for me. My blessing don't go now. My blessing is messy. Oh, it's messy now. Cancer of the death. Yes. 
cancer of the breast yes. healed for so many years. Yes. And she has been under that condition for so many years, yes. giving birth to these children, yes. and that has been there, but yes. now it is gone. She had cancer of the breast for 20, 25 years, and now there is not a trace of cancer in her breast. Isn't that fantastic? I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless your family. I bless your children. In the name of Jesus. Go in peace in Jesus' name. This is the father. This is the daughter. What was wrong with you? I was, sorry, I was blind, but not so blind like that. I was not seeing well. I can't read what is small. I can only read what is bold, but now I can see. I can thank God for giving me a life, for giving me breathing to this able hour in Jesus' name. Was the left eye completely blind? No. Okay. So she can see better now. Yes. I can read with my two eyes now. And I thank God for keeping my life. And me and my parents, my children was up and was today in Jesus' name. God, I bless this little girl. I bless the Father. In the name of Jesus, go in peace. In Jesus' name. What happened to you? Yeah. Well, I have accident since last year, year 2001. December 8th. So I break the two legs. So yesterday, I've got some men good. So I know that the reality will to come to, to say I'm there. So today, I said I will not miss it. Because we have heard the name. This is the second time I've been getting the name. So when I'm coming back, when I'm coming, my leg will break down at the exit. So I want to get a disappointment. I was there for more than two hours repairing the vehicle. So somebody said that I was not worried. Go to the museum. After I finish this vehicle, go to the museum. I will receive your healing. So right now, I receive my healing. So pray. The Lord. Hallelujah. Can you walk without your could you not walk without the crutches? Walk with the crutches before, but now I throw the crutches down and walk. Walk in Jesus' name. Walk, walk, yeah, walk, walk, walk. Walk. Come back again. Walk, 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 walk. Tomorrow night you're going to run. You're going to run. And as of now, you are going to re you are going to live a normal life. Lord, I bless this man in the name of Jesus. You have saved his soul, you have healed his body, and he shall run and not be weary. He shall walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus, I bless the wife. In the name of Jesus, I bless the baby. Go in peace in Jesus' name. Aren't you glad you took a moment to watch that? Isn't it wonderful what God is doing in so many places around the world? But right now, I want to turn my attention to you, right where you live. Let me ask you again. Do you want to call on the name of Jesus for salvation? That is the first thing and the most important. And maybe you also need a miracle of healing in your body. Jesus is standing by to meet you at the point of your need. Perhaps you have a loved one who is suffering from a sickness where the doctors don't give much hope for recovery. I want to pray with you and for you and also for your family or your loved ones, wherever they may be. The great physician is the great savior. Jesus the savior, Jesus the great physician, is coming to touch you right now. Please pray together with me this very moment. Say, dear Lord Jesus, my ear has heard your word. You have said, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. I'm asking you 
to forgive me my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I now bow my knees before you. Thank you for your promise of rescue and of salvation. I now accept, I now believe that you have entered my life and that I am free, forever free in Jesus Christ. I ask it in Jesus' name and for his glory. Lord, I also pray for my dear friends, no matter what their problems are physically, financially, I pray that you may touch them this very moment, that you may turn the tables, and that night comes to light, and that bondage turns to freedom. I thank you that the sick be healed. In Jesus' name, amen.